All right. Well, if you open up your binders there, you'll find the first page is simply, a, it says at the top, a biblical overview of VBC's soul winning ministry. And the purpose of this page is to kind of explain why we do soul winning, how we do soul winning. Now, you're at a soul winning seminar. I'm assuming you already kind of know what soul winning is. But just to give you an understanding of what we're doing, uh, the way that this works is you got blanks. So I'm going to give you the fill-ins for your blanks, and you can write those in uh, as, as we go along. Number one, the question is who, and the answer is you. So if you want to write in you, Mark 16, 15 says this, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And the key word there is go ye. He's saying it's our job to go. You, you are supposed to go. Number two, what? What are we doing when we go soul winning, when we preach the gospel? We preach, that's the fill in there, or teach the gospel. The second fill in is baptize converts and disciple them. That's our goal. That's our agenda. That's what we're doing. We preach or teach the gospel, baptize converts, and disciple them. Mark 16, 15 says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Matthew 28, 19 says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So, uh, who is you? What? Preach or teach the gospel, baptize converts and disciple them. Number three, when? Uh, to the end of the world. We, there is no stop. You know, we're not, we're not uh, Mormons on a two-year mission, all right? We're going to do this for the rest of our lives. So it's till the end of the world. Uh, and again, Matthew 28, 20, I read the verse for you there, but it says at the end there, unto the end of the world. Number four, where? Uh, till we've reached the whole world. We want to, the, the key word there is reached, till we've reached the whole world. Acts 1, 8 says, but ye shall receive power, after that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Number five, how? Two by two from house to house. Two by two from house to house. And this is important for you to understand. A lot of times when we say we go out soul winning and we go into the community and we go out in groups of two and we knock on doors and we, we canvass an area or whatever. Sometimes people say like, oh, did you get that from the Mormons or did you get that from the Jehovah's Witnesses? No, we actually got that from the Word of God. In Mark chapter number 6 and verse 7, the Bible says this, And he, talking about Jesus, called unto him the twelve. Now he began with his orig or original twelve apostles there and began to send them forth, notice, by two and two and gave them power over unclean spirits. So Jesus sent out his, his disciples, the Bible says, by two two and two. In Luke chapter number 10 and verse one, the Bible says this, after these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also. So he started off with 12 soul winners. Now his church has grown. He's got 70 uh, soul winners. So that's great. And he sent them two and two before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come. So we see that the pattern was that Jesus sent people out uh, by two and two. He sent them two and two. Two. In Acts 2.20, the Bible says this, And how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you, but have showed you, this is the Apostle Paul speaking, and I've taught you publicly, and then he says this, and from house to house. So we know that we are to go by two and two, and we are to go from house to house. And that's how we're going to reach our community. We're going to knock every door in our community with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then, of course, number six, why? Why do we do it? Because people are going to hell. That's why we do it. Because if people do not receive Christ as their Savior, they will spend eternity in hell. Luke 16, 23 says, and in hell... He lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. 2 Corinthians 4.3 says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. If you're saved this morning, you've got the gospel, you've got salvation, but if you hide that gospel, you are hiding it from the people who need it the most, which are the lost.